Just kidding, it's finals week. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be talking about how to survive finals week. Because finals week is coming up really soon, at least for me and probably for some of you as well. So in this video, I'm just gonna be going through some tips to help you survive finals week. These are all things that I've learned over the years from my own mistakes. The first thing that I wanna address is probably the worst thing that can possibly happen to you during finals week, other than failing your exam. And that is getting sick. For some reason, I've always had really bad luck. It seems like every time finals week comes around, I get sick, which is why I've been drinking vitamin and C drinks every single day in preparation. All you have to do is get a cup of water and pour the vitamin C packet in and then just stir it up with a straw or a spoon and then just drink it. This doesn't taste amazing, it doesn't really taste bad either, but hopefully this will prevent us from getting sick during finals. To go along with that, the second thing that I would recommend doing is drinking a lot of water. Hydration is really important. It can really help to prevent headaches and keep you feeling good. I carry this hydro flask with an I'm voting sticker around with me everywhere, but any water bottle will work, so make sure that you're staying hydrated so your brain can be working as well as it possibly can. The third thing that I would recommend having for finals week is some sort of caffeine source. You're going to be tired, you're going to be sleep deprived, and you're going to need something to keep you awake. I'm a fan of coffee and tea. I like them both pretty much equally. Hi, it's me from the future. I was editing this and I realized that you could see me holding scissors for a lot of this. So I just wanted to let you all know that I had the scissors because I needed to open the box that the tea came in. I'm not trying to be violent or anything like that. Okay, now back to the video. But I find that I tend to get a little bit shaky after I've had my second or third cup of coffee. So I personally like to stick to mostly tea during finals week. My favorite tea right now is the pomegranate mojito tea from Zest Tea. This is what the packaging looks like. And this tea is really awesome. It tastes amazing and it actually has more caffeine than coffee. And if you don't like green tea, they also have black tea as well. This is my favorite black tea from them. It's called Blue Lady. And they have a bunch of other flavors of tea as well. So if you want to check them out, I'll put a link to their website down below. This isn't sponsored by Zest Tea, although I wish it was. I'm just a really big fan of them and I think their tea tastes really good and is really high quality. I actually have a cup right here that I've been drinking today. The fourth thing that you're going to need for finals week is scantrons and green books or blue books. These are the ones I usually use for most of my classes but I know that there's a lot of different kinds out there depending on what school you go to and what classes you're taking but I would highly recommend getting them ahead of time because you don't want to be that one person in the class that's rambling for one right before the test starts. Last semester I was taking an exam for one of my PR classes and this person who probably only showed up to class two or three times asked me for a scantron and I gave him one because I had extras and I didn't want him to fail the exam, even though he probably did because he didn't show up to class. But don't be that person, come prepared, have your scantrons and green books ready. To go along with that, make sure that you have a pencil and a backup pencil. I personally never use pencils, I prefer to use pens. And this one time I completely forgot to bring pencils to my exam. So I ended up actually using the pencil lead refills for mechanical pencils to fill in my scantron. And that was not fun, so make sure that you bring your pencils to your exams. The next thing that I want to mention, even though it's probably impossible for most of you, is to try as far as you possibly can to get enough sleep or to at least get as much sleep as you can because when you're sleep deprived it's probably going to be even harder to do well on your exams and the last and final thing that i want to say in this video is even if you don't get a good grade on your exam even if everything doesn't turn out how you want to be remember that you are worth so much more than a number on a piece of paper and that you can always retake these classes and try to do better the next time it's going to be okay in the end i promise so with that thank you all so much for watching this video let me know if you have any other bits of finals advice down in the comments below i love you all so much good luck with finals and i'll see all of you after finals week with a new video. Goodbye.